It's time, guys, for speed. Look how pathetic you are. Look, look at me running, guys. 22 speed. Ima look. <laughs> Imagine being at 22 speed, guys. Look, it's not even on any of the, the little colored sections here with the blue, the purple, the orange. 20 speed. Embarrassing. Go! Go, 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 go! Yes. I am 105 <laughs> speed. Yes, this, yes! Ah, ah, ooh, there it is. Right, it's about time. I actually have the, uh, look. I've got this PowerPoint ready to go, guys. You know, I do. I have it here. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna get on this right now. It's time. Take us away. Good. Welcome, everyone, to this a uh, little bit of presentation about the beetle um i went with powerpoint because uh well you know uh corpa memes whatever uh i needed powerpoint because i uh, there's a lot of information to to spread right and i need some some visual feedback to go through everything um so let's get started beetle is the best mount and i will show you today why that's the goal of the presentation today. That's the goal of today's workshop. Everyone here is going to learn how to control the beetle. Um, what are the mechanics that work behind the behind the scenes um, that basically determine how you want to optimize your beetle usage. And uh, basically, there will be two parts to the stream. So we'll go over uh, basic techniques and we'll go over advanced techniques. And I wrote here how to not go slow and how to go fast. This is because that basically is what uh, the two sections are about. Basic techniques are about how do you not go slow. And advanced techniques are how do you go fast. Let's get into it. So just a little bit of an overview again. Uh, basic mechanics. Uh, we'll go over boosting and speed. Cornering. And drift mechanics. And then... Afterwards, we'll take a little break where you can try out the uh, things that we discussed in the basic mechanics. As for afterwards, we go over the advanced mechanics. And there are some techniques here that I want to showcase and maybe uh, have you learn as well while we go through them. So there's power surf, there's air drifting and ACS drifting, hyper boosting, angle limit management, and drift hold. And after that, we, uh, we go to the Hartstuck race hall, actually, uh, and we go over Ooh. that racetrack, and we try to do a bit of track optimization there. I like it. I like it. That's big. Okay. We need the laser pointer. Yeah. We need dark mode. That's the laser really pointer. Need. All right. I'll, okay. I'll like <laughs> the laser pointer. I think I have it. There we go. Laser pointer. <laughs> That's big. It's big. Here we go. Basic mechanics. Basic mechanics, um, very simple. Boosting, you press the boost key to accelerate. That's it, that's boosting, very simple. Boosting uh, consumes your endurance and your endurance re re uh, regenerates over time. Usually it takes about 14 seconds to regenerate after a boost. And uh, one little thing about boosting is that before you uh, actually boost the build, you wanna do a little bit of a lead up to the boost to uh, generate more speed. So just press W before you boost, uh, you create a little bit of speed, and then you boost to go to the maximum. Now, something about that speed that you generate while boosting. There is a maximum speed uh, for the Beetle, and it is 1800 units per second, which is the actual in-game uh, speed measurements units, I guess, um, which corresponds to 99 on the speedometer. And after you're at speed, so let, let's say you're at 99 speed, you want to hold W all the time to keep that speed up. So let's see if I can I can quickly swap here. So we go to in-game. I'll bring We're in. the speedometer in. The speed is here. And just quickly demonstrate, right? So here I'm moving and you see the speed increase. And when I boost, Ooh. we hit 99 speed and we never go over it, right? We never go over it. The speed Very cap. simple. That's speed. That's how speed works. That's in, how it works. Uh, beetle racing. Uh, well, some exceptions apply. We'll come to that later. Basic mechanics. Cornering. Uh, there's three ways to corner, right? So, obviously, uh, after boosting, 
uh, if you just go straight, you never encounter any problems, right? But there might be obstacles in your way. There might be corners in the track. There might be uh, things you want to avoid, big AOE damages, whatever. So you need a corner to go around those. And there's three ways to do that. So there's undrifted cornering, drifted cornering, and pre-turn drifted cornering. And undrifted cornering is basically just you turn your camera while your build is moving. Um, that's it. That's how you do undrifted cornering. Incredible. Drifted cornering is when you use the drift ability. And pre-turn drifted is when you use the drift ability and A and D key. So again, I'll quickly demonstrate what is the difference. So here is undrifted cornering. It's a wide arc. And what you notice is that the speed decreases slowly over time, but not so much, right? Then when I go for drifted cornering, the speed also decreases slowly over time, but the speed decreases the more sharp I make the turn angle. So the speed that, that you keep from uh, drifting a build like this depends on how sharp you're making your drifts. Mm -hmm. and this is very important. Uh, and we'll see that later. Then there is the pre-turn drifted cornering. And now I'm just basically going to hold D and drift. And I can make my corners much sharper. This is very useful if you want to make very sharp or very tight corners. Uh, so keep that in mind. Hold A and D while uh, cornering. In fact, I would generally just recommend using A and D while drifting. Just because it gives you a little bit of extra control over uh, over your direction while you're drifting. And I know that a lot of people have difficulty with this, right? Like they, they try to drift and they, they panic and they crumble. Because the, the beetle movement is a little bit unexpected. And holding A or D can help with that. But there's one more basic mechanic that I want to go through. And that is uh, drift control modes. So I talked already a little bit about drifting, right? So you can go uh, from from un um, from from normal control mode into drift control mode by just pressing the drift key and uh, and and turning, right? That's how you drift. Okay. Yep. Yep. So let's talk about control modes. So we distinguish actually three di different drift control modes. The uh, first one is normal. So actually, normal means un uh, undrifted steering. Um, from there, if you press the drift key and you turn your camera, you go into the drift control mode. Mm -hmm. And uh, to go back to normal mode, you release your drift key and you go straight again. And what happens if you're in drift mode is uh, essentially what you're telling the game is uh, you want to maintain the direction that you're going in at all times. And you can freely change the direction that your beetle is facing. And what happens after you release your drift key is suddenly the uh, direction that you go will be going in is in the direction that your beetle is fa facing. So you can swap between the angle that your camera has and the camel that, camera that your beetle has. And I will briefly demonstrate that in game again. Here we go. Speed. So I'm turning my beetle, drifting, releasing the drift key and my movement, my direction adjusts itself. Again, drifting, release, and I'm going to, uh, into the straight direction again. Drifting, release, and here we go. So in this way, if you swap between the drift control mode and the normal control mode, you can gradually control the, uh, gradually change the direction that you're going. And this is actually the, the intended way to use the drifting mechanic. Okay. This is how you uh, how you adjust your angle. This is how how you go around corners. Yeah. So, what is the what does the action sequence look like for that combo then? Just uh, briefly go over the the kind of sequence of inputs that you're using to achieve that effect for the viewers. Okay, so, I'm holding D. I'm pressing drift, mm -hmm. releasing. So D first. Hold drift key. Turn your camera. Release. Big. There it is. That is how you do that, chat. Embrace it, and obviously for the other direction it will be A, right? Exactly. Because you know it's it yeah, it's, 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 exactly it's, it's not saying specific with the D key, guys. It's because that is a directional key that is being used there. And actually, uh, one uh, quick clarification there on that interaction, 
you what's the release order or like when do you release the keys um for like uh d and drift at the end of that sequence so release the key exactly when you want to turn right okay as uh, soon we, uh, as you think okay the direction that i'm facing now is good i uh, i want to continue in that direction yep. then you release. you release drift what about uh d when do you release d is that before or at the same time um probably after right after. Yeah, you can hold it after your release for a while it just because if you are in basically if you leave the drift mode you go back to normal mode right and if you hold d in normal mode it doesn't really do that much so there's not like a super super uh, urgent timing to release d yet but uh, generally after you release the drift key yes there you go okay boom please continue the third drift control mode the third and secret drift control mode is the Ooh. slide mode. Ooh. What the hell is the slide mode, you might ask? Slide mode is a transition state between drifting and normal control mode. Okay. Basically what happens when you want to go into slide mode, you go into drift mode, you release the drift key, but you keep turning your camera while holding right mouse button down. You keep hold, uh, you keep turning the camera, and what happens is you enter the slide state, and the slide state is basically sort of half a drift, sort of half a normal mode, control mode. What happens in slide state is that um, you maintain your speed better than in drift mode, so you lose less speed, but you can corner sharper than in control mode. Uh, in, in normal mode. So, this is really important if you want to maintain your speed, right? If you do not want to go slow. And that is what the basic mechanics are all about. You do not want to go slow. You want to maintain the speed that you have by uh, that you generate by boosting. Because you have a very limited amount of boost available. Every 14 seconds you can boost. You want to keep that speed as much as possible. So, do not go slow. In slide mode is very useful for that because in slide mode you lose less speed while cornering, and that is very powerful. So to go into slide mode again, uh, you go into drift mode first. You press the drift, you turn your camera. Then while you're drifting, you release the drift key, but keep turning your camera while holding right mouse button, and you enter slide mode. I will quickly demonstrate now. Here we go, demo incoming. Watch closely, chat. This is very important. And watch the uh, the speedometer as well in slide mode. So here I'm drifting. I'm drifting, and here I'm releasing, but I'm still going with the camera mode. You see how I'm losing very little speed, but I can still corner relatively sharply. Also notice that while doing sliding, um, the cornering rate, right, so the, the basically the arc that I'm making in the turn, is very consistent. This is also a, a defining uh, property of slide mode. So again, drifting, release the drift key. And I'm sliding. Look at the speed. And then they get it. Um, they understand. So, yeah, I hope everyone got that because these these three mechanics and how they interact will be also very important later for the advanced techniques. Especially slide mode is, is a little bit broken um, from what we'll see later. Uh -oh. But for now, if you want to master the basic techniques, just keep in mind that sliding is very powerful. You want to do it or try doing it in corners to maintain your speed. Now, one more thing about the slide mode and the drift mode. So it's not only useful to keep your speed, it's also very useful to control your beetle angle while drifting. What do I mean by that? Well, I, show, I will show you in a moment that the, uh, the movement during drift mode and slide mode is very different, and you can use that to your advantage while drifting. So if you swap quickly between drift and slide states while while you're going through a corner, you can actually have a better control um, or adjustable control. And this is uh, it's it's probably best if I just show this just on stream, right? Let's so see it in action. I'm gonna drift now and I'm going into slide mode and I'm gonna drift again. And actually you will see that when I drift again I will move to the outside compared to when I'm sliding. So now if I just keep doing that I can actually very precisely control the corner that I'm taking, right? I can go into a wider corner by just pressing drift a little bit more, or I can 
take a tighter corner by sliding a little bit more. And so I can readjust my angle, I can readjust my slide, slide arc, essentially. I, I can go into tighter corners. And I'm really spamming my drift key now. Or I can go into very wide corners. Right? There's a I'm speed limit right now, buddy. Right now. 104. Illegal yeah, speed. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. We'll, we will get into that 104 in a moment. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's the advanced part. Yes, yes, don't worry about that. We will get there. We will get there. All right. Basically drifting is in a straight line right now, and that is very powerful. Also, if you want to practice beetle racing and you really want to get into the advanced mechanic properly, try practicing this kind of um, straight drifting that I'm doing right now. This is extremely powerful, and we'll go over that in the advanced mechanics, but this is extremely powerful. If you can drift in a straight line, try doing that. Try doing that. There you go. Practice that, chat. Get on that right now. Tibble is exactly right, so... Let's actually practice that. Let's take a break, or I will take a bit of a break, and I will let you guys practice the basic control mode. So try a couple of things with the drift and slide mechanics. Try drifting a little bit around the arena here right now. Try to go for wide angles. Try to go for sharp angles, and see if you can get a hang of this uh, these control modes. Let's go.